Okay, good morning guys. I feel a lot less tired now. That was actually a longer trip than I thought and it, it hit me a bit harder, but anyways, look at this place. And also what's behind me, but it's a little bit close right now, but not a bad place to wake up in the morning. And now we'll get into a high gear and we'll start diving soon, but uh, first let's uh, head to breakfast. Which is which way? Uh -huh. <laughs> Otherwise you're going to be spotted uh, by everybody else. <laughs> Help yourself to some sausage. And and Welcome to breakfast. <laughs> figured uh, we're getting ready to go diving now, breakfast is over. And I figured uh, while I'm getting ready I could uh, give you guys a bit more information on what I wear underneath the dry suit to keep warm enough. Because it's not like a wetsuit where you're in your swim trunks and and the wetsuit, it's uh, dry clothes. So I'm right now standing in my my thermals, which is the very first thing I put on, and boot socks. But underneath that, to keep warm, I'm going to have a sweatshirt, basically sweatpants. Yeah, you want to avoid cotton, you want wool. And then beyond that, I'm going to have <coughs> this thermal layer that you can get at most uh, dive shops. Uh, for drive suit diving. So that's that's the three layers that actually go on me when I'm uh, underwater in a dry suit and uh, I'll cut it here and I'll show you what it looks like when I've got it all on. Okay, so this is pretty much it. I'll give you a quick look at the whole thing. Well, there we go. All the way down to the boot socks. There we go. It's pretty warm and it does pretty well in the Canadian waters here. And I should also say, this isn't like a standard like setup. Um, it totally depends on what your body type is and, and how you uh, handle the, the temperatures, really. And um, so, for me, this, is, this, this does it for me. You may not need certain layers. I've seen some people just go with the thermals and they're fine. Uh, they're a lot bigger than me, though. So, like I said, the wool is the, is the best material. I think polyester is pretty good. But you do definitely want to stay away from cotton. And... Um, the, the other thing that you'll notice as you put different layers on and off, it's going to really affect your buoyancy. So to give you an idea, is before I got this top layer you're seeing now, I was about 34, 36 pounds of weight to sink. When I got this, it actually increased me, it made me more buoyant by a lot, so that's why I'm at the 42 I am now. So <clears throat> that's something to look out for when you're uh, getting your, your under layers, your base layers for your uh, dry suit sorted out. Cause it's important to keep warm, but you have to keep it, be very mindful of how it's affecting your buoyancy because it, it makes a big difference. So I'm going to get out of here and get to the boat, and we should start diving real soon. Actually, it should be in here. <coughs> there she is, my rental dry suit. <laughs>
last dive, dive, dive site number one. And uh, I think the Puget Sound king crabs are the best one. No carapace this time. <laughs> Actual animal. They saw a wolf field, but we missed it. Alright, we got a surface interval and then dive two. Let's see if we can find some more whales. Now, with Tessa's request, we needed a suit model for our, our lunch here. Tim is doing a lovely job. Why did you, you give him an excuse? <laughs> Tim is kind of shy, um, mm. pointing out his soup there. All right, all right, we'll go to test. He That's has uh, he has passed his um, model times for soups, but this is a really great carrot ginger soup. You know, it's uh, really uplifting for the system. Were you cutting me off here? Oh, Jeez, I was. You were pointing at the soup. I went in. <laughs> <laughs> very tasty. Very tasty. <laughs> Another tail shot. Get good at these. Okay, we're back at the uh, Rendezvous Lodge now. We've got one more dive, but uh, we're taking about an hour break so that you can fill the tanks up and um, we can get a few more nitrogen bubbles out of our system. But yeah, there's one more and I think it's just across over there that we're going. So it'll be a short little trip and that'll be three dives for the day and then we can, I don't know, kayak or hot tub. I'm thinking hot tub because one diving hot tub sounds pretty good to me. All right, so we're just sitting here having a little break between dives because Peter's. Yeah, uh, Peter's down there. Yeah, so Peter's down there uh, setting up for us, and we're taking a break. And some of us are doing the dive, and some of us aren't. <laughs> so there's about four of us going now. Out of the there's eight of us, right? Total. So half of us have soldiered on for dive three. Tim is one of them. There we go. <laughs>
Well, we looked and looked, but uh, no octopus this time. There's supposed to be one down there about 57 feet, but he didn't want to show up. But on the bright side, we got a decorated war bonnet, a little yellow guy with a hat, basically, a little tree thing on the front of him, and a free swimming wolf eel, which uh, I haven't done that yet, so nice to have one come out and play a little bit. And other than that, I think I'll call that place Starfish Alley, because, man, the number of starfish at the end. Good third dive. Not as fun as the last two, but good way to end the day. So, I'm gonna get changed, and I think it's dinner time, and then, the hot tub. <laughs> My mind, this might be a bit repetitive, but I gotta show you dinner too. Potatoes, <laughs> pork tenderloin. They feed you well at the rendezvous resorts. <laughs> oh no, say that. Cashew encrusted pork tenderloin. So, so if you want to eat well, come here. <laughs> well, guys, um, yeah, we finished dinner, which was fantastic, by the way. Definitely recommend the food here. It's spot on. Um, we just sort of reviewed our video stuff uh, for the rest of the night, and uh, we're all knocking off now, so I'm going to do the same. Thanks, uh, as always, for watching, guys, and hope you enjoyed these uh, these videos. I'm trying to show you what it's like to dive here, obviously, and, um, you know, what the experience is really like instead of just, here's the dive, you know, looking through the fish tank. So I hope, uh, I hope that's coming through. And... Um, yeah, please feel free to give me some feedback in the comment section, give me a like, or, um, you know, subscription if, you, if you're feeling really generous, and um, I will see you in the next one for tomorrow's last day at uh, Rendezvous Lodge. Until then, have a good night, or day, whatever it is when you're watching this. Bye, guys.